That was Kesha Prang. Hope you're enjoying the music. And normally I was going to do some celebrity birthdays, but we have a special guest with us today. And we're going to do a quick little interview, talk a little bit here on the Beehive, and then get to the next song. With us from Chaplain Fleet Activities, Okinawa, is Lieutenant Commander Carlson. How are you doing today, sir? I am great. Thanks for asking. Good. Uh, so what do you think of uh, DG so far? When did you get in? I'd say I got in uh, late last night, and we had a very smooth flight from Dakota to Singapore to here. And uh, I just, I love it. I've, I've visited uh, this morning, probably, oh, let's say I got Airman Winger to here with me. And we visited well over 100 people so far this morning, over 10 tenants, and uh, just some some great visits with people. I love this island. It was raining early this morning, but now it's perfect weather outside. So what a great place to be stationed. Oh yeah, it's uh, you when you're here a long time, you uh, really get used to the on and off rain. It's uh, I don't think I've ever been here with a day a solid 24 hours without at least a sprinkle. But uh, so what would you like to address uh, the people here at DG about? Just uh, some things you want to talk about, or uh, some things you'd like to uh, bring up for all our good folks here. You know, one of the things that I noticed about Diego is very healthy commands here. You know, even though it's isolated, even though you're here for a year tour, you know, geo bachelor, bachelorette, you're away from your families. Um, I think the command is, you know, all the commands here I've seen are very healthy, and that's a great thing that people are, are holistically taking care of themselves, and that's very important. You know, holistic fitness, in the Army they call it total fitness, in the Navy they call it something different, but really it's taking care of every aspect of your life, and that's very important. I see that happening across this island, so continue to do that. You know, you're talking about your physical fitness. I mean, I know you have Captain's Cup here. You're talking about uh, your financial fitness. You're talking about your emotional fitness, and one of the things I want to bring up is spiritual fitness. You know, you need to think about that aspect of your life and really keep your spirit, spiritual fitness, your moral compass intact, that's a very important part of that total fitness package of being resilient for the, mi the military. And the bottom line really is, in that is ultimately mission readiness. When we're, when we're fit holistically, we're more mission ready when the fight has to occur. Okay, very good. Uh, I know uh, we're supposed to get a new chaplain soon, is that uh, correct? Yeah, and on the notion of spirit of fit fitness, you're gonna have a new chaplain coming in. I was told by the RP1 this morning that the chaplain's actually coming in next week permanent, uh, so don't hold me to that definitively because you don't know about flight schedules, but I was told that the chaplain, a female chaplain's coming permanent next week uh, to replace the chaplain that had to leave. So that'd be great that you have a full-time chaplain here in Diego. All right, sounds good. So uh, depending on uh, just a question I always uh, get from a lot of people or I hear people, uh, whether you're spiritual or not spiritual, but you're a service member, you're here on the island, uh, what do you recommend for different people as far as uh, just, like you said, spiritual fitness, just personal, you know, being comfortable with their environment and comfortable with them, themselves here on DG? You know, believe it or not, whether, whether you're agnostic or whether you're even an atheist, you, you, uh, spiritual fitness can still apply to you because we, we use that term in terms of your, your ethical moral compass as well. So we all have to, you know, inside do the right thing. We have Navy rules and regulations we have to follow. There's also a, a code of conduct that we have to follow in terms of respecting everybody's rights, caring for people's needs, and there's a basic morality that comes with what I mean by spiritual fitness. So no matter who you are, that's an aspect of life that we need to keep in check, and, and just like we would be fit in any, any other area of our life. So that's what I mean by that. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, I think uh, we got a lot of good information there. Uh, just real quick, uh, what, uh, what are your plans here on DG before you take off? You know, I'm gonna visit a few more tenants uh, this afternoon, so look forward to seeing some more sailors and, and airmen and other uh, contractors stationed on the island. Um, what a beautiful atoll. But I, I'm planning, hopefully at 1600, to jump into that turquoise colored lagoon right at the marina uh, park area where it's allowed. So I'm planning to jump in and, and I've been to 67 countries on all seven continents and everywhere I've been, I've even in Antarctica, I've jumped in the, wow. the water. So I can't wait to, to, to see that uh, beautiful lagoon water and to taste it on my, uh, my skin and just to enjoy you know, the nature that's here, God's beautiful creation, I love it. Sounds good, sounds good. Man, Antarctica, that's, uh, that's a rough one. That'd yeah, be I've been adventure. in Antarctica and Diego Garcia now, so I've been all over 67 countries and territories around the world, and, uh, and uh, my goal is to get to 100 before I die, so hopefully I can make that. All right, sounds good. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll get back to the music. Thanks again, uh, uh, Lieutenant Commander Carlson, for coming in. And uh, maybe you'll see a turtle out there, and I thought to myself, well, that'd be a good, uh, good band to play, the turtles. You see that little segue there? Nice, I like it. That's a good transition. It's good happy job. together. Uh, that's going to be the song. Hope you're happy with the music and happy with the day. You are listening to The Beehive right here on...